All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kadash. Double honors to, to my apostles of Great Millstone, the, the true elders of Israel who rule well. Peace and salutations to the whole, peace and salutations like if, to the hopeful elect out there pushing this truth in sincerity. And to you women and children, keep on enduring because uh, these prophecies are coming to pass and salvation is near. And um, I just want to talk about uh, this uh, thousand mile long chariot of the Most High. For those of you who don't know, a chariot is a so-called UFO. Okay? And this man has a... Uh, he caught this on on camera. And I'm going to uh, play this video and I'm going to bring some scriptures out. Um, and um, proving this is also a prophecy com coming to pass. Okay? Um, and um, also proving that this was indeed a chariot of the Most High. Uh, so, without further ado, I'm going to jump into it, play the video, and uh, here, here you go. Take a look at what's being described as a convoy of lights observed high in the sky on Christmas Day above northern Idaho. Have an excellent video of this probably thousand mile long row of lights. Also put together a new sky phenomena picture slideshow we'll get to here in just a minute. But first, back to the lights above northern Idaho observed on Christmas Day. I think they were all, all right. So before I get before I continue on, I'm going to bring out this scripture. And then after that, I'm going to um, play the video again. Uh, this is 2nd Ezra chapter 9. And I'm going to start at the top. He answered, me in the, he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Okay, now this is, this is talking about uh, the Lord visiting the earth. Now, how is he visiting the earth uh, which he made? He is visiting the earth through his angels. Okay, the angels that are in the heavens are the so-called uh, are are what you see in the skies, um, and people call them so-called UFOs, okay? The angels are in those chariots navigating uh, those vehicles, okay? We're going to get into the scriptures uh, um, pro proving that as well. Um, and um, also the angels uh, on the ground um, coming to you. Uh, as prophets, um, as the men of the Lord, okay? Um, so the Lord is visiting the world which he made by his angels, okay? Um, now, there's different types of angels. There's uh, celestial angels and there's terrestrial angels. Terrestrial angels are the uh, servants, the prophets, which uh, are on the earth prophesying. Um, and uh, the celestial angels are the, the angels that are in the skies um, um, I'm navigating those uh, so-called UFOs, also doing the will of the Lord. Okay, so with, so, um, with that, just want to get back to the video. Um, just bear with me for one second. Also observed just before Christmas down here in Willow Creek, California, Ben sent me in a video of the same phenomena, or at least he was describing the same phenomena. He said what seemed like infinite lights. It was one after another after another. He had never seen anything like it. The video I'm about to show you from northern Idaho, I had never seen anything like it either. It could be associated with the Starling constellation. Now, now this... Now, this chariot, 
was uh, was big, a thousand mile long, something similar to what Ezra seen in the book of Second Ezra chapter thirteen. Okay, he said he seen a chariot. He seen the the the, the chariot of the Lord. It was he said he, he he described the chariot as if it was a mountain. We're gonna bring that scripture out as well, but you know, but for now, I'm just gonna play the video. This was a thousand mile long chariot. Okay. If it is, it has grown exponentially. The video I'm about to show you shows a row of lights that's probably in the neighborhood of a thousand miles long, and that could be an underestimation. The video was shared with me yesterday by an enemy of the lie. They posted their video to YouTube here. It was taken on December 25th at 5.36 p.m., and it lasts for 10 minutes. I'm going to put it in fast forward, and you're mm -hmm. going to see the longest row of lights you've probably ever seen. It's just incredible. In the description box, they go on to say they caught these on their surveillance camera that pointed at the sky in a westerly direction. There were a total of 40 lights with number 8 and number 40 kind of off to the right. They weren't necessarily in a straight line. Took 10 minutes to cross the sky. We're flying west-southwest to east-northeast. Here we go. And when the first light appears over here... Now you can tell this is outside because if you look to your, to your upper right-hand corner, there's a branch there. And also you, you see um, uh, the snowflakes... Uh, 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 flying past the cameras but you're going to see the 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 the, the um the lights of the chariots on your upper right on your upper left hand corner all right in the upper left hand corner i'm going to put it fast forward it's now 5 36 p.m on the video and you're going to see these lights continue for 10 minutes just incredible so there's the first one that's one of 40. So I'm going to fast forward it now times five. Here they come. The random stuff you see here in the video, those are snowflakes. There was light snow going on, but the skies were crystal clear. I don't know what that was. Something took off to the north. There's the one light. That's number eight off to the right. You're also going to... Now that light that drifted off to your... Uh lower left hand corner um or well, away from your lower left hand corner that could have possibly been another chariot okay because when you go into isaiah the 66th, the 66th chapter it speaks about how the lord is going to come with his um with his with his uh with his uh, other chariots okay notice as these lights move across the sky they're over which i'm not saying that this is the lord but I am saying that this is a, a chariot. Now the chariots come in different shapes and different sizes, and this is a this is a, a very big chariot. Here to the left, they're going to drift as a collection. To the right, that's because the Earth is rotating. You're going to see the evidence of the Earth rotating in this video because of this massively long row of lights. Look at that! It's just getting started. Just incredible. 40 lights, probably what, 40 or 50 miles in between each point of light? And again, I could be conservative. These are in low Earth orbit, what's known as LEO. And in order to be in LEO, you have to be, I think, at least 100 miles up in the air. So there's probably 30, 40, maybe 50 miles in between each light. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this video in the description. This could be multiple chariots. Because we know that the, that the chariots, with the most high, they, they're organized. You know, they're, they, they, they are, um, they don't, they uh, fly in an organized manner. They're, um, they're, they're uh, very, or, they're very, they uh, do everything in an in, 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 in orderly manner. You know, just like the scriptures say, do everything in TCC in an order. Um, that's how the chariots fly. Um, they're very um, mil military uh, style. Uh, they, they, they fly in a very military um, uh, base style flying, um, so to speak. 
But uh, you know, just want just wanted to bring out some more scriptures. Um, just bear with me for a second. Like I said, I'm gonna put the video in the description. Um, you see where the video left off. So if you want, just uh, continue watching it. I'm gonna bring out the book of Second Ezra, chapter thirteen. Slaki, I'm gonna bring out Second Ezra, chapter uh, chapter chapter uh, or oh, Slaki, Isaiah chapter sixty six. We're gonna get Second Ezra later, uh, but this is Isaiah chapter six, and I'm gonna read verse fifteen. Behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire okay so the key point that i wanted to get to was uh, uh the lord will come with uh fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind okay so uh the the, the chariots are the other ufos the other angels navigate the ufos okay um so he's gonna come back the lord's gonna come back in the biggest chariot and the other um ch ch chariots are gonna be uh smaller than than the, than that chariot that the lord is gonna come with that 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 the lord is gonna come in Slavia. okay i want to bring out the book of uh ezekiel chapter one where it speaks about uh the eyes of the chariots okay because when you get into ezekiel chapter one it speaks about how this it 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 it, it, it describes the angels it describes the chariots okay if you want you can look up that breakdown uh gms ezekiel chapter one breakdown uh, it should pop up and you should get the uh the uh the breakdown t t to that um Slaki, I just gotta find the verse. It is in this chapter. Just bear with me one second. Okay. Uh, here, here it is. Okay. Okay, this is uh, Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 17. When they went, they went upon their four sides and they turned not when they went okay so they were all on one accord okay slaki i'm just gonna, I'm gonna bring out verse um 18. I'm going to continue on to verse 18. Um, as for their rings, they were so high. Okay, the rings is talking about the, um, the chariots. That they were dreadful, and their rings were full of eyes round about them. Okay. Um, so this is talking about the... The lights of the chariots. He, uh, the, uh, the, the Ezekiel described them as uh, eyes, um, because he didn't know what they were. So he tried to describe them as, as, the best he could. So he described them as eyes, and that's what you've seen in the video. When you've seen the chariots, you know those those lights, um, around that you know that are, the the the, the lights. Uh, upon the chariots, okay. So Ezekiel described those as eyes. So like, uh, um, let me just appear the leaves in there. It's like it's color of amber, the color of barbaro, and they four had likeness in the appearance. Their work was. In the middle of a wheel, and they okay. 
Okay, so all right, yeah, so that's uh that, that's basically what we seen. Okay. We seen the uh, what Ezekiel would describe as the eyes. Okay, we, we seen the eyes, the, the lights of the chariots. Okay. Just lock this bear with me for a second. Got X out of that. And we are also gonna get the book of uh Second Ezra. Where Ezra spoke about the uh the Lord arriving in the chariot. Okay, this is Second Ezra chapter 13, uh, verse 54, verse 5. And after this I beheld, and lo, there was gathered, there was there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of the heaven and of four winds of the heaven to subdue the men that came out of the sea. But, but I beheld, and lo, he have graven himself. This is talking about the Lord. A great mountain. Okay, so this is a chariot that Ezra described as a mountain. And flew, continuing on, and flew upon it. And flew up upon it. But I would have seen the region or place where out the hill was graven, and I could not. So this chariot was so big that he couldn't see the end of it. Okay, this is this is what Ezra says. This this how big the chariot that the Lord would he came upon. The chariot was so big that he couldn't see the end of it. Okay, and that's similar to what this guy uh, rec recorded. He's seen the chariot. He's seen this chariot, which I believe it was one chariot. I mean, you're but, talking a thousand miles, maybe more. But this, but I mean, it, it could it could have been multiple chariots. But I believe this was one chariot. Um, and you know. The, the chariots come in these sizes, you know. A lot of people, did, um, uh, um, it's, 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 you know, it's not far fetched. You know, the Lord, as 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 we just read in the book of Second Ezra, the thirteenth chapter, this the the chariot was that big. The chariot was 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 really big, and uh, yeah, man, the Lord is just like the scriptures say in the book of Second Ezra. Chapter, 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 chapter 9, the Lord is visiting the world which he made. Okay? And also, for those of you who don't know, Yahweh is the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the Heavenly Father's beloved son. Rakal Kudash is the Holy Spirit, as I have mentioned in the beginning of this video. Okay? And, um... The Lord is going to come back. Okay. And it is time to repent before he comes back. Because when he comes back, it's going to be too late. You know, the, 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 the windows of grace is slowly being shut. So to you, to, to you Israelites and your Israelite foreigners, your Israelites being you, you, um, so-called African Americans, you so-called Native Americans, and so-called Hispanics, and years like foreigners, you know, throughout the, 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 that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, um, you know, scattered, also scattered, so you just scattered throughout these other nations. It's time for you to repent, because the day of the Lord is at hand. And um, just like it, 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 it's, you know, it's it's, 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 about, it's about that time, you know. And with that, this is the brother Bashar. I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kodash. Once once again, Yahweh is the name of of the of the, of the heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the name of the heavenly Father's beloved Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Rakal Kodash is the Holy Spirit, which 
often comes in in the form of the angels. Um, and I'd like to give the honors to our, our apostles of great millstone, the true elders of Israel, who rule well. Peace and salutations to those who elect out there pushing this truth and sincerity. And to you women and children, keep on enduring, because these prophecies are coming to pass and salvation is near. This is the brother of Bashar. Shalom.